After a disappointing turnout, a few Rhodes University students marched to Finger location to address gender-based violence and to respond to the six-point plan proposed by the Minister of Police, Figile Mbalula. Keynote speaker, author and activist Busisi Wesiabi had this to say. Gender-based violence plan does not talk to us about how these police officers are going to actively engage the community. Everything in this plan is reliant on the survivor coming forward. What happens when this domestic violence is not domestic? Then what happens? Is that also considered to be violence against me as an individual who is engaging with the community? Where do the police then categorize me? If the police station but this is better go ban it and us, but you are high care, come as when a thousand until how then is the six point plan dealing with those particular scenarios and those situations that happen more often than domestic violence? Imagine, they are there buying bread, minding your own business in the morning. Someone decides that your body belongs to them, that they can do what they see fit with your physical body. Then what happens? How do you then report it to the police? Are the police able and capable to sensitively deal with this matter? What is the first question they ask you? Who's team? They don't take into consideration what happens when violence is enacted on us. Because from that point of view, you, the survivor, are the perpetrator. You, the survivor, the onus is on you to prove so everything around the six-point plan is heavily reliant on the survivor. Without the survivor, the six-point plan does not work. Without the survivor, the perpetrator is automatically not caught anyway. And even if they are, they are not prosecuted to the full extent of the law. The reason being, the law does not have a full extent for gender-based violence. We have an act, we have a gender-based, a domestic violence act, yes, but that act does not tell us what exactly is domestic violence. It's open-ended, and when something is open-ended, it is open to what? Manipulation. It is open to whoever is receiving your case and their interpretation of your scenario, and that is very problematic. This six-point plan does not talk to us about the thousands of people that flock into churches on a daily, right? Be it on Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. How are they conditioned within that church environment as well? What role does a church have in curbing gender-based violence? The six-point plan does not mention this. This is Ndebarini Nechiabera reporting for RPTV, Grahamstown.